G'day, so today I'm back down the woods with two axes. This time I brought with me uh, Elwell six pound American pattern axe. I also brought with me a Mueller uh, Bieber extra wide axe. This is a bit of a tried and true one for me. It's got a 1.2 kilo head or about two and a half pounds. As you can see, the times it takes to cut down a small tree like this with the six pound axe or the two and a half pound axe are pretty much the same. The one thing I do know is I could keep up that pace of work far longer with the two and a half pound axe. I really did not like the six pound axe for limbing. It just is so awkward to get the head speed into it. Um, and then when you do get the head speed and it follows through, it just pulls you around on your feet. Like it's, there's so much momentum in it. It's, you know, it's a bit scary really using a axe of that weight for limbing. When it comes to felling, I found the six pound axe not so bad actually. Um, when you're felling, there is a bit of gravity helping you in the top hits and cutting low stumps. The heavy axe actually is quite good. One thing about swinging heavy axes is, is it's very, very difficult unless you have the right technique. You really need to use your whole body and use the momentum behind it rather than trying to fight it because you can't win against a six pound axe. When you swing it full force, it's, uh, it's going where it's going and there's no way of slowing it down. The lighter axe is generally more handy for dealing with small wood. As you can see here, I'm just cutting up some of the smaller uh, branches into firewood size lengths very, very efficiently. A light axe like this with a nice wide edge and a, a thin blade makes it easy work. The six pounder did work for this too, but it was just so much more awkward and some of the cuts you want to make with one hand you have to use two hands with a six pound axe. It's uh, way too heavy for one hand. So this is really where I think the axe still has a place in modern work. If you have a fireplace and you have a bit of woodland and you harvest your wood, it's far more efficient to do this than use a chainsaw to ring up large rounds and then break them down into small bits and then make, break them down further into kindling. You know, you can just use all this smaller stuff for your kindling and Obviously the really small bits throw them away into the brush pile, but I think that's where an axe is still handy if you're harvesting firewood compared to a chainsaw. So I found the lighter axe much better as well when you're cutting in awkward positions because 
it's the heavy axe relies so much on using your whole body to get some power into it that if you are in positions where it's not possible to use your whole body it falls flat two and a half pounds or up to like three and a half pounds is an ideal weight for forestry work this is so much easier to use As you can see, the lighter axe is a, is a great limmer. It's got that head speed into it and the control. So much easier than using a heavy axe. Even a four pounder is so much more awkward than this, let alone a six. The heavy axe can buck okay, um, it's still much more effective to use like a four pound or less, but it does get the job done. I like this one a lot better than the six pound Airwell Welsh pattern I had. This Yankee pattern releases a lot easier, which means you have more flow and it's less tiring to try and yank it free when it gets stuck. So it does have that going for it. Ideal axe weight is really in the region of two and a half pounds to three and a half. There's not much use in the modern world for a six pound axe in my opinion.